All right, guys, how's it going? We're back again. So I get this question a lot. People ask me, am I too old to become a radiology tech or MRI tech, x-ray tech, CT tech, all of the above? The question is, are you ready? Are you confident to move into the next career? You got to ask yourself, are you willing to learn, put in the extra work? Poss you possibly haven't been to school in years. But I think it's very possible for you to change your careers in your 40s or even in your 50s. So you got to look at x-ray. To become an x-ray tech, you're looking at, you're going to need maybe about two years of schooling, an externship for six to eight months. You got to be willing to do that, willing to take the time, put the money aside, or have someone that will support you through that. A couple things, a couple tips that I have for you, if you're unsure, if you can go into this career at a, a later age is let's see number one are you good with com computers and electronics because you're going to be on a computer a lot using different kind of software especially if you're an mri or ct you don't have to be the computer whiz but are you able to pick up certain things fast on the computer are you on the computer a lot are you a good typer you know basic things like that you got to be very good at um, number two are you a fast learner do you pick up things quickly? Is it easier for you to do that? Or do you have to constantly remind yourself how to do new things? Or is it really, are you very slow at picking up new things, new uh, tech things? Are you struggling to use your new iPhone or your new Android? Or is it something that you've always been good with? I think being able to learn fast and pick up uh, different kind of technology are strange, but if you're good at video games or something like that, I think you'd make a great tech if you're able to, you know, think quickly. Um, are you in good health? Are you in good shape? Um, I'm not saying you have to be like a marathon runner, but are you able to, let's just say, are you able to walk a couple miles, five miles? Is that easy for you? Um, can you lift some weight? You don't have to lift hundreds of pounds but are you able to lift like you know 20 30 pounds is that easy or are you, um do you have any other health conditions that would uh render you and slow you down because you're gonna have to be moving patients around um, you're gonna have to be on your feet a lot kind of moving around so it's good that you're in a good shape you know if you're not in good shape right now maybe you should start getting into good shape mentally and physically um the next tip is, do you, have, do you have a strong interest in anatomy and physiology? Do you like, are you interested in how the body works, the bones, the muscle, the tissue, the nerves, the different kind of, you know, anatomy and physiology? Are you interested in that? Do you have a strong interest in that? I don't want you to get into something just for the money. You have to have an interest, okay? And also, do you like helping others? Is that something that you like to do? Do you enjoy helping people? Because the medical field is for you, if that's the case. Um, next tip, do you have good people skills? Do you like talking to people? Do you show, are you able to show that you care, empathy for somebody? Are you able to care for the elderly, sick, old, young, all different kinds of shapes and sizes? Are you able to do that? You gotta ask yourself that. You gotta have a lot of patience Patience for the patience, you know what I mean? Um, so, a little inspiration. I've known people that became techs in their, uh, like, mid-40s. Became, you know, an x-ray tech, and they're great. Um, like I said, they're in good shape, full of energy. They're able to pick up things. So, I wouldn't let your age discourage you. Because I think if um, up here you feel you're young and you can learn, you can pick things up, I would say go for it. Why not? Because where are you going to be at? You know, you're 40 and you're like, oh, I'm too old. I'm too old. Next thing you know, you're 50 and you're regretting it. So I would say go for it. Go for it. Why not? That's my opinion on it. People ask me all the time. I would say go for it. Hey, that's just my opinion. Hey, if you guys like the videos, like, subscribe. I come up with new stuff every Thursday and Friday. I'll catch you all later in the next one.